Hi everybody, uh, I'm recording this on my phone, so sorry about the poor quality. Uh, it's easier to upload that way. So here's what I got for you today. Um, <clears throat> this is day three, I think. I don't even know. On my uh, building my own uh, benchtop variable power supply. So video number two. Uh, today, yesterday and today I've been messing around with trying to get a good pulse width modulator working and hooked up to the steer amps that I got off the fork trucks. Um, the steer amps are 24 volt and all the controls are 12. That's what I'm working with right now. Um, I'm going to show you what I got set up and uh, we'll go from there. So here is my uh, here's my setup. It's got a 555 timer and I'm using it as a pulse width modulator and then it's the output is going to a transistor which I might turn into a MOSFET. I gotta play with that yet but this is functioning right now and the variable part of this is this potentiometer. This is will this is what will be sticking out of my uh, box whenever I get this <clears throat> complete. I'll actually have four of these with four power supplies and such, but I'm trying one out and then we'll move to two and go from there. Uh, I got my control battery right here and my awesome Coke. So I got my control battery, which is uh, powers the electronics, and these two batteries are running my uh, my output. I got a motor hooked up to it. Right now I just want to show you the pulses and then I'll uh, I'll show you the output. So basically this light right there, LED, as I turn this pinchiometer over here you can see the light get brighter. That makes my output go up or down. Here's my output voltage here. Okay, that's that's coming out of the steer amp as I turn this. Basically the steer amp has its own control wires here and I can actually reverse polarity on this. Uh, with just sending it a different signal, but I'm not going to use that. Um, I want it all positive, and then I can switch my leads around for negative. Easier for what I want. Here's the steer amp, and the outputs for the steer amp are here. And literally all this is is an amplifier. It does nothing more than take a signal I send it from this and amplify it with whatever voltage I put into these big power wires. Uh, the fuse that originally goes on here is 100 amp, so I know that this is good for 100 amp, which is... Uh, a lot, a real lot. So right now, um, I'm going to show you this. This is what my pulse width looks like as I turn this up. Let's see if I can focus this better. How's that? So as I slowly turn this tensioner, you can see my pulse width, and uh, that right there is actually a positive voltage slowly going down to a negative voltage so that's actually a pulse width it almost looks like a negative I believe that's because where I got it hooked up at uh, I got a I think this is a PNP and I really need an NPN but uh, that's just okay just messing around I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this motor got it hooked up to this amp meter and uh, that way we can see what's going on but here you go so as I turn this Potentiometer that motor will run. Maybe. And I'll set this voltmeter over here so you can see it as well. Maybe. So I turned up just a little. I got 3.4 volts going through my 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 main power setup. See I can kind of stop it. And uh just keep going up with it. So really what I've done is created a, uh, literally a, a motor controller. So I'm trying to focus, sorry. And uh, this motor I'm just using as, a, as an idea of uh, output so I can hear what's going on, but uh, there's my output voltage. So uh, that's what I got. Um, this is a crazy schematic right here, but this is actually everything uh, kind of laid out as a just a, 
just a flow chart type of diagram so I know what's going on. It is electrically correct, but it's also kind of a flow chart because I got items that are just randomly placed. I know what they are. Again, I'll draw all this up in my pulse width modulator circuit up better for everyone to see um, and for myself. Basically, I have a power supply, which is here, and then here is the steer amp and the controls and then it goes through a big cap which I do not have on right now and then this uh, it goes out here so I got a positive and negative out positive and negative positive and negative positive and negative that's my four power supplies this unit will have four separate power supplies or I can connect all of them in series and have 96 volts or thereabout and I can connect to them in parallel on the outside I will be connecting them in series with push uh, switches and it will control the pulse width modulating signal through this relay right here. Okay, So these two relays, or these two drawn up here, are the same relay um, tied together through double pull, double throw type of deal with one switch. Again, this is flow chart type deal. I have a dilemma. I, want, I know I want to put an amp meter in here. Uh, and I know I want to put a voltage meter in here. I think I'm going to put one volt meter in here with a switch, and I can select which output I want to see. Now, if I'm if I have these two connected in series internally with this switch here, then I just flip this to two, and it automatically changes three and four. Everything automatically changes for me. Uh, the only thing I'll have to do externally is hook these up in series. Uh, I'm sorry, in parallel, because it would take a lot of effort. And I'm not ever going to use that much amperage. Um, it'll be 40 amps at 24 volts, uh, anywhere from in between 0 and 24 volts. You know, and if I isolate them like they are, uh, they'll all be 10 amps a piece. But it's kind of hard to see. I know I'll draw this up better for you later. But I just want to give you a quick, uh, quick overview of what I've done today in uh, stage two of this project. Here's my amperage on that little motor. Alright, this is Russ, day three, stage two, video two, building my own power supply. Uh, this is coming along nicely. Uh, next stage is going to build, actually I'm just going to probably do this now, let's hook up two of these. And uh, again, I'm filming this on my phone, sorry about the crappy footage. Uh, Alright, this is Russ, see ya.